Now, would you look at this? Isn't this just immense? Now, for most people, they just want to go from A to B without actually thinking about where they are and what they are doing. And that's usually the older brigade, but that could be that could be a misjudgment. But you know, look at this. Let's just drink this in. Mother of God, you know, I just still want to jump in that water at the moment, but I'm not suitably dressed for it. And something tells me if I even strip off, I'll probably get arrested. But hey, it's Italy. It's liberal. It's cool. But uh, let's go for a walk. Isn't this something? I never realised coming here that yes, uh, the waiters and waitresses speak English. Yes, their native tongue is Italian. But they're also catering to the German folks who visit Italy as well. And my God, have they visited in their droves. Never sit beside two Germans, a German couple. And the, uh, well, they'll say the pleasantries of, hi. But that's about, that's about it, you know. Nothing much, but it's fine, you know. And I'm trying to speak Italian, badly. I don't know why, as extrovert as I can be, I get a bit shy. You want to get the pronunciation down. <sighs> you know, my wife, Claudine, is doing better than me. But then again, half the people are serving us speak English, and I think they'd prefer you do. Although, granted, they do appreciate the effort. You know, and I, and I want to blend in. You never want to stand out. So, yeah. So, I got my trainers on, not my hiking boots. I was no way in hell I was bringing them with me today. There you go, Tour de France. It's found its way to Italy. It's Tour de Geriatric France, but I won't dwell on that one. Good lady's beasting it on her head. Let me do my thing. I figured yesterday after we went to Verona, it's nice just get out, get our stomp on, see the uh, the countryside surrounding Lake Garda, and why not? <laughs> 